Okay, uh, coming off a tough loss last week um, to Georgia, uh, took us out of the uh, a chance to repeat as SEC champs, and that's definitely disappointing. Uh, but it's something we got to deal with, and uh, you know we've got a strong group of seniors. Uh, we got our entire coaching staff back, and so there's no doubt in my mind we're going to finish this thing strong. We still got a lot to play for. Um, playing a uh, a very good one double A team in in Sanford. Um, they know a lot about us, you know, with uh, Cody Burns being on their, their staff. Uh, Coach Pat Sullivan is one of the true uh, professionals and gentlemen um, in, in the coaching business, obviously an Auburn legend. Thank the world of him. And uh, it's also the last home game for our seniors, which is, is very important. It's a very good group of seniors that have done a lot of great things for Auburn. So I'm really hoping our fans will show up, be loud, and send these off, guys off on the, uh, the right track. Gus, do you have any in dealing with something like last? Like some players have to bounce back. How do you kind of bounce back mentally when something well, like that happens? You know, I, I think you know we're always going to have high goals, um, and you know you set your goals high. You don't always reach your goals, and that's the way life works too. And the true champions and the true winners rebound and they come back and bounce back. And that's been our message. Uh, our seniors are definitely committed to that. Our leadership, uh, our coaches are too. We're disappointed. Uh, as well we should be, uh, but hey, that's behind us. That is what it is, and we got to find a way the next two weeks to finish this thing strong, and, and uh, we will finish this thing strong. Uh, there's no doubt. With the way the defense has performed and seemingly regressed over these last four or five games, do you have confidence in your defensive staff this year and next season? Well, it's the same defensive staff that led us to 13 seconds away from winning the national championship, and um, you know we've got some deficiencies obviously and we just got to do a better job of, of hiding them and uh, but no I've got confidence in these guys and, and like I said we're going to finish this thing strong. How well do you know Coach Sullivan? Uh, well I know pretty well. Uh, you know um, he hired you know Rhett Lashley as office coordinator when Rhett was the GA here. I knew him beforehand uh, even when I was at Arkansas um, the first year in 2006 got to visit with him and um, just got to know him well over the years, and uh, he is just, uh, like I said, he's one of the true class guys in college football. Uh, he's respected by, you know, everyone. I've never heard anybody say a bad word about him, and, uh, you know, he's definitely helped me. I lean on him from time to time with advice, and uh, he's, uh, he's an Auburn legend. Is it a little bit strange? I mean, he's on the committee that you interviewed with. Yeah. He's, he's spoken to, I guess, in Atlanta. He spoke spoke to the team, didn't he? Yeah, he was an honorary coach. <laughs> and now he's the championship, and he did a great job. I mean, <laughs> I mean, our, he did a great job speaking to our team. He was on the sideline with our team halftime. He was there with us and adjustments and you know, advice, and it was just it was a real special moment. And now you played against him. Is that kind of weird? Yeah, you just you know, hey, that's part of this business. It is kind of weird, but uh, you know, you got a job to do, and just like Cody Burns on the sideline. And, I guess in 2011, Rep was on their sidelines. It's, it's part of the business. Gus, you've been mentioned as a possible candidate at Florida. Would you consider going yeah, there? I've got one of the best jobs in college football here at Auburn and totally committed to that. Gus, you said last night on Tiger Talk that you thought part of the, the Georgia loss was a carryover from Texas A&M. Yeah. What point did you notice that? Was during the game? Or was it looking well, I mean, you, you know, uh, obviously I felt pretty good. I mean, that Texas A&M loss, the way we lost, I mean, it, it hurt. There's no doubt. And it should have hurt, but uh, there was some carryover. And as a head coach, you know, I've got to see that. I got to be more aware of that. And, um, there was a lot of factors in that. I mean, that was just one of the factors. I mean, Georgia played really good, and they're playing really good football. Uh, we started out decent, um, and then we made some mistakes that kind of snowballed on us. And they're playing really good. So it was a combination of all of the above. But, uh, but th there was there was some carryover, and uh, we got to do a better job of putting that behind us. Did it surprise you even more, though, just because, I mean, you said last week you guys had a good week of practice, and then it just... Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Is, is a possibility of Carl Lawson turning the season to completely wipe off the board? Yeah, uh, it, it doesn't look that way. It doesn't look that way. Gus, Georgia has, and since before you came here, has really beaten up on some, some Auburn teams that it didn't look like they should have beaten up on like they did. Do you, do you see a difference in the way they play against y'all and what you see? Than playing against other yeah, people. I mean, all I can speak for really is, uh, you know, the time I was here as office coordinator, and of course the last two years, and really the last two years. I mean, they're extremely talented. Um, they're they're very good. They're capable. 
every year are playing with the best teams in college football. And obviously, it's a big game when they play us. And uh, they usually play their best. So we've got to play our best. And we didn't do that Saturday. Gus, uh, has Duke gotten back on the field at all? Has he been able to do anything? And what do you expect from him this week? No, season? he's not been back on the field yet. But we're, like I said, it's week to week. Um, we'll hope to get him back. But uh, not ready to say when yet. How, how pleased have you been with your receivers just over the course of the whole season? Uh, we've done some good things at times. Um, you know, we've got to be a little more consistent, but I can say that for, for all areas, you know, on offense. Yes, you know, obviously you never want to see anybody get hurt, but how much more difficult is it for you as a coach to see a guy like Jeff Whitaker who decides out last year and he's a yeah. leader and he's dealing yeah. with other issues you know? No, there's no doubt. I, I feel for Jeff. Uh, Jeff's a, uh, he's one of our leaders, uh, if not our overall team leader. Got a lot of respect from his teammates, offensively and defensively, and really his coaches too. So it, it's a, it was a tough blow. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get him back, but uh, he's been through a lot. You know, as far as that's concerned, since he's been here at Auburn. You've talked a lot about facing the toughest schedule in college football. The numbers back it up. Do you believe the team has been beaten down mentally and even a little bit physically here in these last few games? You know, I, I'm not. Uh, we, we knew the schedule was the toughest when we first started. And, you know, you got to have a plan and be strategic and, and all that. And we're just, uh, you know, we're not, we didn't play our best football the last two weeks. And we got to find a way to do that because our schedule, it is what it is. But I'm not looking for excuses and this and that. Uh, it is what it is. We knew it when we started. We gotta, we gotta finish this thing. You ever been part of a stretch as difficult as this in your career? Well, I've coached for 25 years. I've been through a lot diff more difficult stretch than this. I mean, bottom line is we hadn't played our best the last two weeks. Um, we're still a, a good football team. We're capable of being a very good football team, and that's the goal to finish this thing like like we can, which I know we can, or, or, which I expect us to. Yes. Um, when you go through something like this, how do you know which buttons to push? Do you come out today and have your yeah. most physical practice of the year, or you try to light things up and have fun? Well, I, you know, uh, that's that's part of the coaching uh, strategy. You know, as a coach, you got to figure out to push the right buttons for your team. Every team's different. Uh, each year, you're going to have a different makeup of uh, seniors and all that, and that's part of coaching. And uh, I've got to figure out a way to push the right buttons these last two weeks. And, like I said before, I'm very confident we're going to finish this thing strong, and, uh, and, we, and we will. Gus, have you have there been any guys on the team that you've relied on to uh, be vocal leaders that maybe haven't this year? You know, usually if they're vocal leaders or vocal leaders, you, you know, you know uh, it's not like you have a guy and you try to tell him to be able. To Low, you know, vocal leader at the end of the year when he's really not that's not his makeup. That's re usually not the uh, the way it works. Gus, we've seen you in the defensive huddle a couple of times. You've been a little bit more involved the last couple of weeks of defense. No, I'm the head coach. I mean, I've, I've been doing the same thing. I'll get in the defense huddle when it's timeout. Obviously, the offense huddle and the special teams. So, Gus Ellis has admitted he's heard some of the the unrest from folks about you know defense not playing well. You, you know, anyone would have liked the last month or so. Does, it, does that bother you as a coach? Do you just understand criticism fair or not? Just yeah, I mean, hey, this, is, this is college football. It's the SEC. And, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing is usually as a coach, you're, you're doing your job and you're insulated. It's just unfortunate for the families more than anything. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's been one of the better defense coordinators in this league for over 20 years, and uh, he's earned a lot of respect. Anything else? Does there be any changes to the starting lineup? Uh, not at this point. So Sean Coleman after another rough Yeah, yeah. I mean, here's what I say. Sean Coleman is a he's a very good player. Uh, he's like any other players. You know, there's you know there's other players that have good games and bad games. We have a lot of confidence in Sean, and uh, but at this point, we're not ready to to say that there's going to be any changes. Gus, last year you mentioned with, with Trey, you know, in the SEC championship that you went to him and said, hey, just keep giving me the ball. When it comes to injuries at all, do you ever kind of get players that kind of same leeway? If, like, Duke says I'm 85%, I'm good to go, or do you kind of make the call and say no? Yeah, I mean, uh, in, yeah, injuries are a little bit different, you know, as far as just uh, wearing down. All right, Coach.